today as I walked into this courtroom, I felt as though I was on my way to my son's funeral all over again. I said, Lord, please give me the strength to go and face the man, the monster, the so-called friend of my son who took his life, someone who called me mom, someone I thought respected me, someone I thought who cared enough about my family, but I guess I was wrong. You called yourself a friend, but I guess you were more like an enemy to my son, because no matter what, I believe that this was more than just a $20 bet. I feel as though you've always had some type of beef with my son, and I don't understand why. Today, all I'm left with is memories and pictures in this obituary that I carry around with me every day. Jamel, you scorned me forever, and I will never get over this. I know I can never forgive you. Whatever the court hands down to you today, my family and I will have to deal with it. But just know that we are forever shedding tears over this. This is so difficult for me, because I just don't understand how I lose a child the same day that I had a child. To go through this for the rest of our life, no birthdays, no holidays, never, nothing will never be the same, nothing. All I ask is that when my son asks for you to leave his home, why couldn't you just be a man and leave? No matter what the circumstances were, you should have just walked away. Today, I have a grandson, and that's the only thing that keeps me going right now. Other than that, I just don't know how I can continue to go on if I didn't have good friends and good family members that's there to console me when I'm not feeling myself. So whatever sentence is handed down to him, I hope that you do every bit of it and that you learn from this and that Someday, maybe you can forgive yourself for what you did to someone you called a friend. Thank you. I would like to, I would like to apologize to the family and especially to the mother, because I believe that no parent should have to bury their child. Although me and the victim, we argued a lot. We were good friends and we never even fought, so it should never came to this. I'm not asking for forgiveness because I know the feeling of losing someone and it's hard. But please understand, I had two people firing at me as I was leaving, and one of them had just got out of prison. I feared for my life just as anyone else would. I never intended to hurt anyone. I was preventing from me or my friend getting hurt, and it ended in a terrible result that I wish never happened. And I'm standing here man enough to take full responsibility for my actions and do what no one else seemed to do, to tell the truth. Ms. Kruger, 